Hello everyone! Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. Hello! Welcome today for coming to my channel. And I'm here with a special guest, my friend Emily. Hello! And uh, she's not on YouTube. She doesn't have her own channel, but she is my friend, so... We are doing, we're doing kind of like a best friends kind of video today. <laughs> yes. And you want to say what we're doing? So we are going to have a, a little nail painting time. We're going to see how well Ashley can paint the nails on one of my hands. And then we're going to see how well I can paint the nails on her hand. And I'm betting that she can do a better job. I, <laughs> I really think it's, yeah, I'm not an esthetician. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to see how that goes down. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Because yeah. I actually have nail polish on, so I have to take it off. <laughs> so maybe I won't be doing her nails. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, um, this is actually combined with how I teach to do uh, nails that are blind. So all my blind followers who have been asking me on Twitter over and over and over for this video, yes, I'm finally filming it. This is today. So um, what you need, I need to get my table. I just knocked something over. <laughs> and guys, I also have a giveaway. Now the giveaway is not in the title because YouTube is penalizing accounts that have giveaway in the title. So I don't put that in the title anymore. So you want to make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you can also follow me on Pinterest, Blogger, Reddit, and I think that's everything. It's a lot. It's a lot to keep track of. <laughs> it is. It is. So I actually have the tool that I use. Um, it looks kind of like a little horseshoe that clips onto the end of your finger. And I use this to around the edge, the free edge of the nail. So that's the end that sticks over the end of your finger. And then you can also use masking tape for up around the cuticle. Now, the trick with masking tape is as soon as it gets a little bit wet from nail polish, is it doesn't always stick to your finger. And so if you're doing multiple coats, like I will be doing, it's really, really hard. But you can use masking tape um, if you are not able to get the, get the, whatever these are called. <laughs> you want me to so, read them? Sure. Oh, it just says curve for natural nails. Yeah, so, so it's not very curve. descriptive. Um, I get these from China. And here's a thing for you. I actually use these before I went blind, because I was really bad at painting nails. <laughs> so let's just start. <laughs> we just we just we just smacked it at it. Mm. So I'm gonna turn on my second angle camera so that you can you can see and I can feel it's unsteady. So hopefully my camera doesn't go tumbling down. Now here's a tip: every tool that I am using, if you're painting your nails for like the very first time, I really recommend that you put all your materials in the fridge. Uh, not only does this increase the shelf life of nail oil and also your nail polish, you can feel it better when you're putting it on your fingernail because you can feel that coldness. And here's a trick for you. I have not painted someone else's nails since I've gone blind, so I don't know how well this is going to go. So I'm, I'm excited, actually, quite <laughs> frankly, to see how this is going to work. I still think it's going to be pretty good. <laughs> She's more excited than I am. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to flop on I'm YouTube. I'm the one getting a free manicure, so. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a manicure. She's getting a hack job. <laughs> we'll see. I might as well be painting her nails with a paintball gun. <laughs> So I have different products today. Um, I have my, now all of these except for two are on all different bottles. So that's how I can tell my bottles apart. Uh, my two that are the same are my Sally Hansen's. And I'm not getting any kind of sponsorship or anything for naming these brands. I'm just telling you what I use. Um, I'm going to try and have links in the, in the description because I know when I did my makeup tutorial, a lot of people had messaged me um, on Twitter and they were trying to figure out like, where what kind of makeup I had and where I got it from and my makeup was really old so I apologize but if I can find links for the stuff I'm using I'll put that because I know it's a lot easier for you guys to try and find it. So I have my two nail polishes, I have a colored and I have my top coat. My top coat has two tiny little hair elastics because these bottles feel exactly the same. So my top coat is the only one that has um, hair elastic on it so I know it apart. And then my colored, I have no idea what color we're using. Can we read it? It yes. is, the color is pink satin, pink satin. <laughs> and it is indeed <laughs> like a, kind of a light purpley pink. It's really pretty. Oh, good. Yeah, I like it. It's a purpley pink. And then I also have a peel off base coat. So I have a peel off base coat. 
Um, I think this one is from Amazon. I'm not exactly sure because the peel off base coats, you don't want to get latex or a glue base. You want to get one that's actually kind of like a nail polish because the stuff that's like glue base, um, if you do multiple coats, it just keeps re-wetting and it stays wet on your nails. And I'm not really quite sure you really want wet stuff on your nails for long because that's kind of like your hair. Like, you know how they tell you not to go to bed with wet, wet, wet hair? I can't talk. It's that tea, right? <laughs> Satin, <laughs> wet. <laughs> I gotta enunciate. <laughs> All right, and then you also have my Sally Hansen nail oil. This I would recommend um, because it uses a nail polish brush applicator. And so if you're not used to painting your nails, to keep from getting discouraged, pop this in the fridge. Now I realize cold oil does not do the same for your cuticles and nails as hot oil does, but pop it in the fridge and practice putting this on before nail polish. And then once you feel really confident that you're getting it mainly on your nail, then move on to nail polish. So there's a trick for anybody actually. So sided or non-sided, you can do that trick. And I also use, this is a matte top coat, but I actually use it on top of my peel off base coat because a matte top coat creates almost like a sticky resin kind of top just before it dries. And that's perfect for applying color so that it sticks longer on your nails. So good rundown of the materials. Yes. And also too, oh. this is the funny part. Um, you know from my makeup videos, I do I use really weird things like dental floss, masking tape. We are pulling something like that in. We are using Elmer's non-toxic white school glue. <laughs> so yes, we are using Elmer's uh, white school glue and I use this around the cuticles and it keeps for easy cleanup. And I just realized I think I forgot my other stuff. Oh, ah, and Vicks Vapor Rub. I don't know why she's using this, so, so I'm going to find out. <laughs> so here's a really cool tip. Because it's petroleum based and it also has menthol, which a menthol is a really good, menthol and eucalyptus is a really good oil for the skin because it cleans up a lot of things that get on the skin that don't necessarily come off. And so if you get it on your skin, despite all the guides that I'm using, so the nail guide and the craft glue, if you still manage to get it on your skin, once your nails are completely dry, you rub this over your nails and it will actually loosen and take off any nail polish on the skin. Oh, so, now that is a good tip. <laughs> yes, and Vicks Vapor Rub also prevents nail fungus. So, but you don't have to worry about any of that because I don't have nail fungus. I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. What you get when you go to Ashley's house. Yeah. <laughs> Souvenirs. <laughs> okay, so I have this and I, like again, I do have another one for a giveaway. Um, I bought an extra one because I was pretty sure, I was actually planning on doing this, this film anyways, but I was pretty sure Emily did not want to use my used, all covered in nail polish ones when I was doing her nails. So, yes. So this is Emily's first time on my channel actually, so you all need to be nice, yes. and if you are a friend of Emily's, so if you're Emily's friend and you're not normally on my YouTube channel, write a comment down below, uh, don't give away your personal information obviously, <laughs> but yes. you can say hi to Emily, and it's actually, it'd be really fun to know how you met. I met Emily, uh, she started coming to my church, and that's how we became friends. We yes. met at church, so I would love to hear how all your friends met you. <laughs> Yeah, I guess there's some interesting stories. <laughs> Comment below, folks. <laughs> Comment below. So don't I have... Anything. Don't make up anything. <laughs> don't oh. spread rumors, okay? Yes. I will delete those comments, okay? Uh, so I have opened this, and it's a really interesting nail guide. Um, on the one side, this goes on the end of your fingers, for those who are sighted and can see it. And it's kind of like a horseshoe shape. And then on the back, it has a clip that actually goes all around your finger. So the trick is you actually have to you have to match them up to the sizes of the nails. So these are reusable? These are reusable. So okay. these can be a little bit pricey. Um, I am very risky and I will buy stuff from factory outlets like that are from China. Um, I prefer, if I can, to get most of my stuff from Amazon because Amazon has always been amazing. If I have accidentally purchased something wrong as a blind user and it was the wrong description in the title and I said, you know, I bought this thinking it was this and that's not in the description, um, they have always uh, given me my money back and I think that's great. So I prefer, like if you're a blind shopper, Amazon is great and again, I'm not getting, I'm not getting any reimbursements for this. So I might actually get Emily to help me match these up to her fingernail sizes, okay. just so that it doesn't take 
Forever. Track your sizes. Use the diagram. Oh, oh, I see. That's just if you want to write it down. Okay. Oh, you can write down. You can write too. down your sizes again. You can write down your size. So somewhere on here, you can write down your size. And uh, obviously, that wouldn't work for us that are blind. <laughs> All right. Yes. So I am going to turn on my second angle camera. I said that twice now. Okay, I see. So this is just going to take me a minute to find, <laughs> to, to find the right size. Um, are you going to do my left hand or my right hand? Uh, Maybe my left. Whichever hand you would like to do. I think the left because that would okay. be easier. So they fit them kind of snug. So you want them the tightest where the edge of the nail is. Right. I always do mine a little bit too tight so they go under the lip of the side of my nail. Right. But okay. that depends. Like I'm used to... I'm a very bad manicurist. I cut my cuticles, even though I'm blind. So I have done hack jobs, and I know you're not supposed to do that because you'll damage your skin. Uh -oh. So don't do that. Don't do what I do. I'm a hypocrite. Don't do not do what I say. So, But I, um, because of that, I don't have that skin on the side. So you may not ha be able to put them as tight as I keep them. So you want yeah, to I see go, that. Yeah. I think I'm cutting off part of my nail here. <laughs> so if it doesn't, you know... If it's not it's perfect, it's I'm sorry. Me. It's me. It's not Ashley. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> Ashley actually has given me manicures in the past. Yeah, before, before you lost your sight. Yeah, before I lost my sight. Yeah. We definitely need to do a video about changes in friends when someone has lost their sight. Just because it's got to be different. Like, I know it's different for me because you think about scenarios and situations and people differently when you you lose your sight. But I'm sure it's got to be different from your sight as well. You know what I mean? What the way you view things. I think the, the hardest thing has just been getting used to mm, not saying things like, oh, look at the color of this dress. And, and, and you know, not that, and Ashley's very good. She's never said like, oh, like, you know, that, how could you say that to me? Like, you know that I can't see anything like that. But, you know, it, I'm just remembering and being conscious of that because you want to respect a person's life as it is. I am so disappointed that this video shut off because Emily got into a really good discussion about changes and topics and different things like that. And again, if anyone knows about the Canon, I think it's called a Canon Rebel. If you know how to turn off the automatic recording shut off button, I would be so happy for that. But like I said, she made some really good points and I'm hoping to do more videos in the future, hopefully before I leave. Um, where we can discuss things like this with friends. But thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's very important. And comment down below if you have ever painted your nails or somebody else's nails. I'd like to know how many people still like to do their own nails. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!